this day and age, when everything comes to us so quickly, um, our children really need to learn and to appreciate the, the value of life and the fact that it's not something that comes when you push a button or you open a package. A lot of the children don't know where the food comes from. For them, the whole lives they grew up and they think a tomato comes from Safeway or comes from a store. And you know, that's where it's packaged, that's where it's made. And they come to the market and I, you know, we tell them this is locally grown organic food and they're like, what are you talking about? What is organic? What is all of this? So they are the future and they need to know what's good for them. They need education. Right now where we stand is Brickyard Educational Farm has currently been shut down. The school board has prohibited us from having any school groups out onto their school board land. So I've been going into schools and giving in-class presentations. So far we've given in-class presentations to over a thousand students in the region and we'd like to continue that, but the ideal scenario is to have the kids come and really experience the farm and develop a sense of connection with land that a lot of urban and suburban students just don't have today growing up. This is a perfect opportunity to expand that curriculum for the children um, that they couldn't get any other way. I'm just really thrilled to be coming to speak at the exciting Brickyard Educational Farm uh, fundraiser. It is really important that we raise money for these local events that are educating children, our next generation. If we're going to mobilize people and really take back our democracy and fix our food system, we have to make sure that we educate children. And that's exactly what the Brickyard Educational Farm is doing.